G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now the Microsoft Loop component we are going to be taking a look at today is the voting table. So how can we insert the voting table? In our case, we're going to be using a Microsoft Teams group chat uh, to make a decision on a couple of different things that we want to, or we're ideating on for an intranet homepage. So the, the Loop component or the voting table component is a really great way to be able to get some live, interactive, really quick responses to and uh, deliver some outcomes uh, in real time. So let's just jump in and we'll have a look at how we get, first of all, go about inserting it or adding it to a group chat and then how it is actually used. So let's jump in now. You can see I've got a group chat going with our intranet working group. So the first thing we're going to do is click the loop icon in the uh, tray down below. And one of the options here is our voting table. So we click on voting table there and then we get a table table like, like this and let's go and we'll add a title. So this is called the intranet homepage uh, ideas. All right, so that's the title of our uh, of our voting table, and we've got idea, we've got pros and cons, and then we've also got our votes as well. So let's pop in a few ideas. So what are the things that we need or we're, we're looking at uh, deciding on to put on our intranet homepage? So the first thing might be an employee news feed. We might um, have a some quick links and we'll list out the pros and cons in a minute and we'll also add a new item here called an employee directory so let's pop in a few pros and cons so we're going to start with the employee news feed so let's start with um, the con uh, all the pros there and let's have a look at three cons we'll just copy and paste some cons inside of uh, this uh, column here. Now let's move on to the quick links. We'll add a few pros to our quick links and then also a few cons. And then we'll move on to our employee directory. So we've popped in our cons in there like so. Now the employee directory, what are the pros that we're looking at here? Uh, there we are. And also the last three cons we're gonna take here. So now we've got our three items with our pros and cons ready to send across uh, to the people in our working group. So let's hit the send button and we'll send this across uh, and we'll insert that into this new group chat with our intranet working um, working group here. So you can see now that is now syncing. Uh, it's being posted. Now everybody that's part of that group now will have the ability to cast their vote as they see fit. All right. So we can see here, um, I am in, well, I'm logged in as Megan here. I'm going to cast my vote. Yeah, I think we need um, an employee news feed. I think quick links are very important. And also, I think we should have uh, an employee directory as well. So I'm just going to drag uh, Alex's um, team's uh, group chat across here. So you can see I'm logged in as Alex and you can see here that I've now got the ability here. I might vote for uh, for this vote uh, for the employee news feed. And then we also need um, an employee directory there as well. So there we go. I've now posted that. I'm starting to receive all of my votes. Now, the great thing about loop components, obviously, is, the th is we can copy this component and we can now extract this uh, voting table and then insert that potentially now into an email. So if I open up uh, Outlook, for example, I'm uh, in as Alex. So we'll open up Outlook and we can now that I've copied this uh, component, we can now paste that component into the body of an email and email that um, out as well. And then it doesn't matter where that, uh, that those people are responding to that, uh, that table. It's all live and it's in sync and and it, it, we're meeting people where they choose to, to work. So if I now open up a new email and let's just send a new email over to Megan, let's say. So we'll, we'll search for Megan. There we are. Um, let me just pop in voting table as the subject line. And now what we can do is paste our uh, loop component 
and we've just pasted in there and you can see that it, it has extracted that voting table from the Teams group chat and has now placed that in the body of the email and I can send that across and then that is surfacing that in real time in the body of an email. Now what about this new loop um, application? What about being able to now grab and copy and paste that into our um, maybe our workspace or our page? So let's open up the, uh, the loop app now and we'll open up a workspace in the loop application and we'll insert that now into uh, a page. All right, so let's go for Project Alpha. That's the name of our intranet. And then what we might do in the brainstorming page that we've already got here is let's add in here, we'll just paste in the, uh, the component inside of there. And you can see that we've now extracted and embedded that voting table that started out in a group chat, moved to an email, and now has been embedded into a uh, Microsoft Loop page that's part of a workspace in the application. So there we have it, the Microsoft Loop voting table, really good for getting live, um, feedback and votes and, de and decision making uh, on any idea. And you can see how powerful that is by being able to extract that and embed that into different endpoints and meet people where they choose to interact with that component. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.